Ibia. By the grace of God, my name is Brother Stanley Agu Ifa Ichuku, and I become a choosing in the year 2007. Uh, I want to ask God for mercy for have not given this testimony. Uh, I have been delaying, waiting for when God will do the last one. But as I came this morning, when my honorable member prayers were singing, the Lord asked me, why, why, why am I delaying this testimony? So I asked God for mercy. I came to give the testimony. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please permit me to say the same song they sang that brought me, that brought me here. God can do it again, my friend. He will do it again. Just take a look where you are now, where you has been. It has always been true for you. My God never changed. Choosing people. You may not know how, you may not know when, he will do it again. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to bless this God of choosing how he restored my business after I lost everything. Hmm. And today, to the glory of God, God has broke the yoke of poverty in my life and family. Mm. Thank you, Father. Precisely like four years ago, I lost my business. That was when we were doing this car park. Lagos State Government gave us you know, that they want to destroy our market. And I was then, I was just managing because that was when I was just newly settled. So I was managing. Then, that time, they said they want to demolish the market, and I was begging God that they should not demolish this market, because then, God blessed me with my wife and two children then. At the end of it, I made this. At that time, I used to borrow money from bank for the business. I can remember vividly the last money I borrowed 250 from AB. And when the matter was tough, out of that money, I used 100,000 to sow a seed here hmm. that God should not destroy that shop. But unfortunately, fortunately, at the end of it, the shop was demolished. After demolishing the shop, you know, we stayed for complete eight months without doing anything. The money I was managing, everything finished. Then I was about to travel back to village because that was what my man was telling me, go back to village. Later on, my, advice, my friend advised me I should go to Ogun State. That shop is very cheap there. I went to Ogun State and looked for a shop I didn't see. As I was coming back, God showed me a shop at Kola Bus Stop. So I managed to secure. The shop was in the street. After paying for the shop, the man to finish the shop, he was delaying me because that was going make it to be up to eight months. So when it was about that eight months, the man finished the shop, gave about seven people their own shop. My own, he was delaying. So why are you delaying my own shop? I don't know that God was planning something very good for me. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, God is a covenant-keeping God. Out of that 100,000, it was a tears. I told God, I don't want to lose this shop. But God of choosing. At the end of it, when the man was delaying that shop, God used a friend of mine. Now bless me a shop just in, in front of where I was doing business before in the same market. Hmm. Choose and praise the living God. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. And the shop was in a very good site. I didn't have money to rent that shop because I've lost everything. That's why I sang this song. God can do it again. Mm. Just believe the prayer of my Jew. It does one thing that always gives me courage. Anytime I'm at home, I look at the calendar of my picture of my pastor, and he always smile at me. I have courage to move forward. So when I, I told my friends, and I'm running around, I prayed for that shop. For, for you to know that the devil was fighting. After paying the shop, the man said it was two years to pay. I got that money, I paid for the two years. After two years, the man said it was not three years he wants. God of choose to improve himself, and I still get money. I don't know how this money was coming. Remember, I have lost everything. Mm. I still paid for that shop for that three years. After for him paying for this shop, the counter I lose from my former shop, that was the counter I used to serve my yoga. 
That was part of what he settled me, and I carried it to the new shop. After the shop, my brethren, there was no money to put market in that shop. Then I was, there was a man who gave me goose. I was owing him about 500,000 then. After the money, so I, in fact, I ate the money. So after everything, God paid it. On that January, I gathered some money. I was about to raise the money I was owing the man. And the man gave me goods of 800,000. Choosing that was beginning of our testimony. Mm. So I entered that shop. After doing business with the man, one of my brother that was doing business with him, well, you know, did not meet up. The man ate his money. Because when he said, you will not give me goods. After paying him, he took away the whole money. It was like starting from beginning again. I began to cry, tell God, how will I make it? I went to one of my friends. I used to buy market from one of seven my organ, and I told him, look at my credit, my predicament. He said, what? While I'm here. And he carried me and he took me to about four importers at trade fair. And he told them that this is my brother, this is my son. In fact, I assigned him. You should give him whatever he needs. <laughs> Brethren, I was, I was like me that I always charter this uh, small car to carry my load. At the end of it, the end of giving me goes about seven million naira that day. Hey. <laughs> that was how we started. Mm. And God used them. We began to meet up. When they said I was meeting up, so about four of them, every three months, four months, about, they give me goes like 10 million, 11 million, and we've been doing it. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I came here to testify and tell God how God have you know restored my business. But the testimony in it was just like all things was together for good. He told me, brother, you are still carrying credit now. You never built a house. Why? What is the testimony I want to come and give? Say I should go back. I went back, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But I want to tell us today, like I said, God has brought the yoke of poverty in my life. So when they brought my, my former pastor, Pastor Nonsu, Pastor Chinonsu, at Okudo branch, he said he wants to build our branch. He said, we should start from the altar. Brethren, I become a partner to that building of that house. Because then my shop was moving. Though the person that brought me to choosing is a giver. And the spirit of giving enters me. I give even more than what I have. So I begin to, you know, we partner building the altar. I finished the altar. He said, God said we should build the whole house. And we begin to build it. As we're building it, even though we have not reached the time to open the church, he gave dates. He wants to open that church. And all means you are doing it, uh, you know, certain things. Odd. After the completion of that building, he said we should write a prayer point. What we got, what we want God to do for us. I told God that I needed the land in that my area. So before you know it, God was choosing to give me that land. So as I bought the land, I was telling God, you know, my mind was, I will let me just buy the land and be building the house more, small. But when we came for a program here, our brother, uh, brother, uh, bro Okonkwo, this is my humble brother here. He gave a testimony how God had blessed him with house at Owere, uh, at, uh, at uh, Festac here. I, my wife came to me and told, after the testimony, my wife told me, I like, see, this man said he served God. Say, let us serve God the more. So I begin to serve God with one I can't. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God of choosing that today. Under six months, God of chosen bless me with a four bedroom two place. Hey. That's my loca the location. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. So when I look at all these things, it is God's doing. Somebody that I came to Lagos 2007 when I joined Youth Choir, the shoe I was wearing then, it was a shoe my, my brother finished and packed. And I gave it a book to sew the shoe for me. We began our revival in Youth Choir. But today, by the grace of God, my blessing to my family. Choose mm. to praise the living God. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. So my, another testimony I also want to give is, uh, I want to appreciate God of choosing. When I was building that house, I came from a polygam family. And the battle had been even before I came to Lagos. You know, before I wanted to build that house, a small house where we can just park in. But when my brother gave a testimony, I changed the plan to do place. Mm. So after the taking of the house, then I was very, very sick. So sick. My wife doesn't even know what I was passing through. One of the days I was climbing the staircase to look at the taking we just finished. 
the spirit of death came to me and said, why am I even disturbing myself building this house that I will not even live to enjoy this house? Out of the pain, I rebuked that spirit and I told that spirit, I said, even though if it's the will of God, I will not live to be lived, uh, live in it, but let me finish this out for my children. Before if it's, I will die, I will die. Then after that, the pain became so much. My pastor gave, gave me and showed me a revelation to me that he saw a revelation that Angel of Ajio was not happy with me. That he used the face of Pastor Moses, the head of the intercessor, and the dream that were flogging me, he was like, he was not happy with me. So we went in and began to pray. Though I find out that two hours, two hours that uh, time I was building that house, I was not going to church activities, you know, it was just my business, my building, my house. In most of the things I do in church, I was not doing it. Maybe God was not so happy. Then I, I out of that person, maybe that's the reason why this affliction came. So one of the ones that I called Bromosis, he said I should come to help, but I came and see him. He told me instead of seeing him, that I should wait, I will see our Jew. So that day, out of that pain, because they discovered, they said I had, my liver was swollen. Hmm. I see our Jew in front of his game because he was going out. He asked me what is the problem. I said, that is not my problem. He pointed my face and said, I cancel the affliction. Brethren, I went home because I went to several hospitals, spent a lot of money, no improve. But when I went to the doctor, not dictate and said, okay, see, 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 by the grace of God, today, I'm standing in your midst today. Thank you, God of so Chosen. I really want to appreciate this God of Chosen who had done all this for me. And another testimony is there is that uh, after building that house, because I came from a very poor family, we suffered a lot. My mother suffered a lot to bring us even to the little the age we are. So after the building that house, I told my mother we have suffered. Come to my house and stay with me. So about four or five months, my mother was with me. So I made sure I take care of her, give her whatever she need. Told her, promise her that she will never lack again. Last week she went home. Brethren, because of the battle going on, I didn't know that they went and sent a poison in front of our house. But before my mother could enter that house, my junior sister was the first one that entered the house and matched that poison. So, the testimony I want to give there, though I know that God has already perfected everything. Had it been it was my mother that matched that poison, they would say, ah, maybe I use my mother in making up this money, choosing praise and living God. Hallelujah. So I really want to appreciate God of choosing who have been fighting all this battle for me and ask him for mercy for delaying this test because we pack into that house February this year. So I really want to appreciate God of choosing for all he has done. Thank you, Father. And Thank you, God of choosing. Ask for his mercy that in any form, maybe I have not been serving him the way he asked me to serve him. Or maybe the area, I, maybe what I may have done, because the Bible said that the word of symmetry unto a man, but the end thereof is the word of destruction. That made the angel of God was not happy with me. I pray that God will show me mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, before building that house, I made a vow of 100,000. Tell God, if you help me to finish this house, I will give you that 100. Even I said I will give that 100 before building that house. But after the foundation, the money I have finished, I told God I will give it. Before we pack into that house, I redeem that 100,000. And uh, I, make, I want to stand at this pulpit and make vow to God of chosen that I will serve him to the end of my life. Amen. My words will serve him. Amen. My life will serve him. Every service he needed from me, he will get it. As far as he keep me alive in Jesus' name. Amen. I still want to use this a little talking to appreciate him because I cannot come here and say all these things and just go like that. I want to say, God, who has done all this for me, may not be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my G.O. that God has called him. We continue to uphold him to the end in Jesus' name. Amen. All the children, every one of us, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank God for all your vows that you will serve him with everything you have as long as he keeps you alive. As the last testifier is getting ready, I, I, I want you to take notes that our brother that testified. When the choir sang that song, I didn't hear them clearly as much as I heard from you. I don't know whether you noticed it. He sang it more excellently. I could pick his words. So in the course of his testimony, he said even he was once in the youth, uh, youth choir. So after youth choir, I think the next place is uh, adult uh, adult choir. 
So please help and join the brothers. You may be joining other departments. There is no problem. You can be in building. You can be in welfare. But this, you sang that song very well. You had mastery of it. You know, so please, you join the adult choir. Help to strengthen the brothers. You know, it has been noted that the brothers are not much in the adult choir. No pastor has made remark about it some time ago. So having been, you know, trained in the youth choir when you were not in, but now that God of Chosen has made you something, you can still carry that wealth and join the adult choir. It will even motivate some brothers too. So if this great man, big man can join choir, let me also join. So please, join the adult choir and join them in singing. And I'm responding to his pledge. He said he has vowed that he will serve him anywhere God of Chosen wants him to serve. So it's on that note I'm making this statement. Last testifier for today.